when you hurt the narcissist they do this narcissists are very sensitive people they're easily offended and upset which is why you may find yourself walking on eggshells around them you may find yourself being extremely cautious about your words and actions because anything could set them off But when you do hurt the narcissist, it bruises their ego, it makes them feel less valuable and important, and it may cause a narcissistic injury. The larger their ego is, the more at risk it is of being bruised because it means that they take themselves very seriously. Which is why when they're lost in their delusions of grandeur, that is actually when they are most vulnerable. It doesn't take much to hurt the narcissist because they always have to be right. They always have to be in control. When you hurt the narcissist, it may cause a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. They will get very angry. They will lash out at you. They will insult you and put you down. They will say and do whatever they think will hurt you. But if they're a covert narcissist, it may be more under the radar. Especially if you are in the company of other people. They may use directed conversation or dog whistling. They may express their anger and annoyance indirectly. They may be sarcastic because they're afraid of the consequences of expressing their anger directly. So they will maintain to the limits of whatever they think is socially acceptable so that you can't call them out on it. So that you lose courage and your confidence in yourself. But sometimes, they will openly criticize you. They will target your self-esteem. They will target whatever they think is important to you. And then they will undermine it. They will try to tear it down because it makes them feel inferior to you. So they will try to project their emotions onto you. They will try to make you feel like you're not good enough because then they will feel like they're not the problem. They will feel like they're not at fault. When you hurt the narcissist, they will immediately become oppositional to you. They will refuse to do whatever you want them to do. They will become uncooperative. They will cause disruption because you're not validating the illusions of their false self. And in their minds, their false self is perfect. So they expect you to worship them. They expect you to see it as a privilege to be around them. But if you think there's something wrong with them, there has to be something wrong with you. Because in their minds they're faultless and flawless. There's nothing wrong with them. So you have to be wrong. Deep down they know that they're not perfect. They just can't accept it. 
which is why when you question and confront them, they lose control. Because you're taking back your power, which leaves them feeling powerless and helpless. They become very fragile and they begin to lash out. They oppose anything you stand for. Even though they may secretly agree with you and admire you. They will still continue on this course of action, even though it may be unfavorable for them. Because they have to be the best. They always have to be right. But if they don't have any reasons, excuses or justifications, or they can't think of another way to hurt you, they will just go silent. They will ghost you, which is meant to serve as a punishment. It's meant to hurt you. It's meant to strip you of your power and keep you under their control. It's meant to create self-doubt where you feel like you have done something wrong, where you feel like you were the problem. When you hurt the narcissist, it makes them feel unworthy. It makes them feel like they're not good enough. It makes them feel like something is wrong with them. And that is often when they will discard you and find someone else. It may seem like they're running from you, but they're actually running from themselves. They haven't found someone else. They've just found a new mirror. Someone who reflects back to them an ideal version of themselves. Someone who supports the illusion. Someone who validates the illusions of their false self. And then they reflect that back to you. They use it to punish you. They use it to make you regret your decision. They use it to make you blame yourself. Because now they've found someone else who doesn't see anything wrong with them. Which may make you second guess yourself. It may make you think you made a mistake. But you didn't make a mistake. This new person is just under their spell. Just as you were before you figured them out. They don't know what the narcissist is really like. But the narcissist will use it to hurt you. To make you feel like you're at fault. They will play the victim. They will avoid any accountability for their actions. They will blame you for everything that went wrong. They will lie. They will make false accusations. They will turn molehills into mountains. They will exaggerate your faults and mistakes while minimizing and denying their own and downplaying everything that you did right because that is how they evade accountability. That is how they avoid the consequences of their actions by playing the victim, by holding you accountable and acting as though you did something to them. They will blame you for things that they caused. They will blame you for things that they did to you. They will project their faults and mistakes onto you. They disown the parts of themselves that they don't like by assigning them to you. And then they use that as an excuse to discard you after they have made you look like the problem, which may make you question yourself. It may make you take responsibility for them and it may make you try to win them over. 
even after everything they have done to you. But if that doesn't work, they will start a smear campaign. Because if you don't believe in their lies and validate the illusion, they know that someone else will. So they will manipulate other people. They will give them the false character. They will spread rumors about you. They will assassinate your character. They will damage your reputation while acting as though they are trying to help you. But they're doing it to punish you for not complying with their agenda. They're doing it to take the focus off of everything they did to you. They're shame based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. Which is why they avoid accountability and the consequences of their actions. Because it resurfaces everything that they try to bury within. And this is how they feel when you hurt them. They're like a house of cards that could collapse at any moment. Because they have all of these unresolved traumas and emotions that they cannot control. And when you hurt them, it causes that to resurface. It may seem like they hate you, but they just hate themselves. They hate everything that you are causing to resurface, everything that they try to bury within. And that is what they're in opposition to. That is what they're running from. Because they don't want to deal with it. They don't want to accept it. Narcissists are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. When you hurt them, all they see is a reflection of themselves that they don't like. Everything that they hate about themselves. Everything they're trying to hide. And it makes them very angry. Because the last thing they want to see is a reflection of themselves. It's like sunlight to a vampire. But they don't know how to process those emotions. They don't know how to deal with it. So instead, it gets projected onto you. They blame you. They insult you. You're essentially either an emotional garbage can or a prop to the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.